All right, class, so today we are going to do the homework help video, or I'm going to do the homework help video for multi-step equations, okay? All right, this is the help video for multi-step equations. Okay, so I am going to do the one that you asked me for. It's this one right here. But I'm going to write it on a separate sheet because it's so long, y'all. It's so long. I don't know. Am I going to have enough space? Probably not. All right, so this is what it looks like. One half parentheses y plus 5 minus 6.5 plus 3 over 4 y plus 1 fourth parentheses y plus 8 is equal to 1.5 y minus, sorry, minus 2. All right, so when you have a long problem like this, you do one step at a time. It's very important that you do just one step at a time. All right, so let me make sure everything is right. Minus. Okay, all right. So first step is distributive property. So we are going to distribute. So here, I'm going to write this as one half times y, which is one half y, one half times five, which is five halves. I'm going to leave it as a fraction for now. Um, I'm going to bring down the minus 6.5. I'm going to bring down the plus 3 over 4y, and then the plus sign, and I'm going to distribute here, okay? Because I'm doing distri all distributive property first. So this 1 fourth times y gives me 1 fourth y. 1 fourth times 8, if I multiply that out to the side, you can go ahead and multiply that. 1 fourth times 8, and that'd be, write it as a whole number, 8 over 1. That's going to be 8 over 4. 8 divided by 4 gives you 2. So this is going to be plus 2 here. Bring down the equal. Bring down the 1.5y minus the 2. Okay? So distributive property came first. Now after we use distributive property, we're going to combine terms that are alike. So let's combine the terms that are alike. I'm going to circle them. We got the 1 half y. We got the 3 fourths y. And we got the 1 fourths y. Okay, so we're going to combine those terms together. All right, so here, when we add these, we're going to add the ones that are easiest to add, the one that has the common denominator. So this denominator here is 4. So we add the numerators, that gives us 4 over 4, which is 1y. So we got 1y here, we combine these, and then we combine this, we have 1 and 1, um, 1 and 1 half. So 1 and 1 half, we're going to write as a mixed number, um, I mean, sorry, an improper fraction so that it's easier to um, get rid of when we're solving for y. So, of course, the denominator stays the same. We multiply the denominator times the whole number, which is 2, and we add the numerator, which is going to be 3. So that's 3 halves. So we got 3 halves y, and we combine all the terms together. Okay? All these terms, sorry. So now we can combine these terms. Okay? Okay, combine the easiest two together. Uh, we got two, well, this is, I could have just wrote it as a decimal, right? This is two and a half, and then we have, we got two and a half, 2.5, and then um, we got minus the uh, 6.5. So when we subtract, and do the other way around, sorry, y'all. We know it's going to be a negative, but when we subtract it, it's going to be a negative. This is zero, right? This is four. So we got negative 4, all right? So this is negative 4. And so we have negative 4 plus 2. Negative 4 plus 2 gives me a negative 2. So this is going to be a negative 2 here. Bring down the equal sign. Bring down the 1.5y minus, minus the 2 here, okay? All right? Okay. Pause. All right. So then after you do that, you're going to move the variables to the same side. So when you move the variables to the same side, 
you are going to, let's do, they got it all written as a decimal. So let's just write this back as a decimal. So this is, this is one and a half. Okay. So now I'm going to move the one and a half Y over here by subtracting, I said one and a half. I'm going to move the one and a half by subtracting one and a half Y on both sides. Okay. So when I subtract the one and a half on both sides, 1.5 on both sides, when I subtract, look at what happens. The Y's cancel out. So when the Y's cancel out, this gives me negative 2 here. Sorry, y'all. On this side, and this gives me negative 2 on this side. Okay. Since the Y's cancel out, that means we're not going to get just one answer. But since both sides are equal to each other, that means any answer would work. So this is infinitely many solutions. Okay. So when your variables cancel out, and this is true, it's infinitely many. If it was false, it would mean it's no solution. No number would ever work. But since this is actually a true statement, negative 2 is equal to negative 2, that means it's infinitely many solutions. Okay? I'm glad I did this one. All right. Okay, so that is the homework help video for Wednesday. Have a good one, y'all.